Let's listen to the story of two brothers. Once upon a time, there were two brothers who inherited their father's land. The two brothers divided the land in half and each one farmed his own section. The two brothers story over time, the older brother married and had six children, while the younger brother never married. One night, the younger brother lay awake. It's not fair that each of us has half the land to farm, he thought. My brother has six children to feed and I have none. He should have more grain than I do. Azoic that night the younger brother went to his barn and gathered a large bundle of wheat. He climbed the hill that separated the two farms and over to his brother's farm. Leaving the wheat in his brother's barn, the younger brother returned home, feeling pleased with himself. The two brothers story earlier that very same night, the older brother was also lying awake. It's not fair that each of us has half the land to farm, he thought. In my old age my wife and I will have our grown children to take care of us, not to mention grandchildren, while my brother will probably have none. He should at least sell more grain from the fields now so he can provide for himself with dignity in his old age. That night, too, he secretly gathered a large bundle of wheat and climbed up the hill. He left the grain in his brother's barn and returned home, feeling pleased by himself. The next morning, when the younger brother went into his barn he was surprised to see the amount of grain was unchanged. I must not have taken as much wheat as I thought, he said, bemused. Tonight I'll be sure to take more. His older brother was also standing in his barn, musing much the same thoughts. After midnight, each brother gathered a greater amount of wheat from his barn and in the dark, secretly delivered it to his brother's barn. The next morning, the brothers were again surprised and perplexed. How can I be mistaken? Each one scratched his head. There is the same amount of grain here as there was before I cleared the pile for my brother. This is impossible. Tonight I'll make no mistake, I'll take the pile down to the very floor. That way I'll be sure the grain gets delivered to my brother. The third night, more determined than ever, each brother gathered a large pile of wheat from his barn, loaded it onto a cart, and slowly pulled his haul through the fields and up the hill to his brother's barn. At the top of the hill, under the shadow of a moon, each brother noticed a figure in the distance. Who could it be? When the two brothers recognized the form of the other brother and the load he was pulling behind, 